Hola, estudiantes. Welcome to a quick video that is going to show you how you can get your own copy of your Ping Pong Mania file installed on your Android phone. That's right. We're going to do a little side loading. Watch the video. So here we are in MIT App Inventor, where you have taken our last collective file, the PPM version 3A, and you have made it your own. You've added your own art. You have fixed maybe some of our bugs, or perhaps you have added a feature like a timer, or you have changed the way the leaderboard works, things that we've discussed in class. Anyway, what you're going to do now is create a file that can be loaded onto a phone. When I say loaded onto a phone, I am still unfortunately referring to Android phones only. If you have an iPhone uh, or Apple device like an iPad, uh, you we cannot yet create a file that will go on a device like that. But if you have an Android device, you can load Ping Pong Mania on that. What you're gonna do is use the build menu. The other thing that you need to do is you need to change the name of the file so that it can, um, when you turn it in this way, uh, I know whose file it is. So uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can just download the file uh, and change the name and upload it again, I guess, or you can simply go to projects and you can save project as. And if you do that, you can name the file with uh, either keep PPM version and put your name or you can name it like there, Dowd Ping Pong Me. That's my version. Now when you look up in the left corner, you can see it is the new file name. Now I am going to go to build and I am going to do save APK to my computer. Dot APK, that is the file extension of the type of, uh, of one of the types of app files that can go onto an Android phone. So I'm going to select that. And it's going to do the progress bar like when we are connecting our AI companion. And again, this does take a minute. You will notice now uh, in the lower left hand corner, uh, it is downloading the APK file. Hey, once you've downloaded your APK file, you turn it into me like this. Just type in Dowd, you will see my uh, teacher email address pop up. Just type in the subject. And You can type a message or you can simply attach the file. Wherever it is that it goes when you download, in my case, it's in my download. Hit open. And when it's attached, click send. Students, I am going to show you quickly how you can sideload the APK file from the computer or Chromebook to your device. On this uh, window on the left, I have my downloads folder. That's where my copy of the Ping Pong Mania APK file is. And over here, you can see I have my Android phone, my Galaxy A51. And it shows up here. I double click it and it's going to open up a selection of folders. I want to go and put my file into the download folder. The download folder. 
So I am going to go and click and drag my Ping Pong Mania file into the download folder on my phone. When I open it up, I should be able to see it right here. Now it's on my phone. Students, on your Android device, as long as you are connected to the internet, you can open up your web browser on your phone. And in the Google Classroom, I will have this link, but if you go to students.mbsd320.org slash falcon coders, you will come to a site um, that lets you link to a page that has this year's falcon coder apps on it. If you simply scroll down, you will find a download button that lets you uh, click and download the button to the right to get a sample version of Ping Pong Mania. This is just my sample version to show you what it looks like. I will put yours in this place once you submit them. Click and it downloads. Now notice it will say pingpongmania.apk open. It's gonna take you to your downloads folder. If you do this and then have to go do something else, you can always get to your downloads folder in your settings. You can simply click the search icon and search for downloads and you should be able to find this folder. Now, watch what happens here. I'm going to click and I'm getting a message that says can't open file. You guys, this happens on different phones in different ways. It depends on what what kind of phone you have. It depends on, um, that is what brand of phone and what model. It varies based on what version of Android you're running. My suggestion is that uh, go into your settings and allow it to um, accept files from Chrome or whatever your browser is. The other thing that you can do is get yourself a file manager app. There's nothing magical about this, it just makes it easier. I am not endorsing anyone in particular, it's just the one I used is, um, uh, has the big A on it, it's Astro File Manager. Again, I'm not endorsing it, I'm not saying that's what you should use, I'm just saying that's what I use. And then um, what you can do here then is, like I have this option to go to Files, I do that, I just click until it shows me my downloads and it will show me, here it is right here, Dowd Ping Pong Mania. I'm gonna click that. Huh. Huh. It says no. Hmm. Oh, look what's right above it. Right here's the APK file. Click on that. Now, here's what it's gonna do. I'm gonna use the package installer and then there's an error. Well, mine is telling me it can't use it. This is often a real pain. What it will do though, is it's going to install. Um, you may have to download it again, figure out what's wrong. I can help you figure that out. This is now a terrible, terrible video that shows you how to do it. The phones don't like you putting apps on that don't come from the Google Play Store. And you're going to get, and I wish I could show you this message. It's going to tell you over and over again um, uh, that, hey, you don't want to do this. This is a file that's bad for your phone. And you just keep telling it, do it anyway, do it anyway. Here's, let's see if I can get it to do it with this one. Right here, it'll say, do you want to install an update to this existing application? And you just tell it to install. And then it says here, blocked by Play Protect, doesn't recognize the app's developer. That's because we're not registered with the, um, with the uh, Google Play Store. So just click Install anyway. And then it says, send the app for scanning. Nope, we just want to put it in. And then 
you can open it up and it will show you your game. And this is now a native app that is installed on your phone. Close it out. And then, hey, if you got to go look for it, you'll notice that here where my new apps go, it's not there. You can swipe up and just keep going to the end of your list and it should show you your app somewhere. Oh, here it is. It has that MIT App Inventor, unless you put your own logo file in, in the screen view of MIT App Inventor, you can put a little logo in of your own. And if you click that, hey, it opens the app right up.